If you missed the iconic start button when Microsoft ditched it in Windows 8, get excited. The Verge is reporting it'll return in Windows 8.1. Kind of. The new interface will feature a button similar to the start button of old, but instead of pulling up on a menu, it will return users to the start screen. Windows 8 saw the advent of the start screen where users could navigate their apps and pages in a tablet friendly interface. A far cry from the old desktop interface Windows sported for 17 years, including that little green bar in the bottom left of the screen. The return of the start button is part of a larger change to Windows 8 where users can choose to boot directly to the desktop mode. Computer World says this option would be a big change in Microsoft's message. Publicly, the company has repeatedly maintained that its design decisions were correct and its executives have suggested that users would, in time, learn to live without a start button and grow to appreciate the start screen. Users appreciate it so much that Pocky, an app that adds a start button to the Windows 8 desktop mode, has been downloaded 1.5 million times. So other than answering the public call for a start button, what's this move really mean? TechCrunch says it's a way to ease people from the old interface to the new. While naysayers will point to this as a failure on Microsoft's part, no compromises and the like, I suspect what this really is is standard operating procedure thrown to IT departments who are afraid their users will bolt once they see the jolly candy-colored tiles. And ZDNet says it's not just apps but business that benefits from the interface change. In April 2014, Microsoft will terminate support for Windows XP, the second most used Windows interface. Adding the old start button means businesses won't incur retraining and help desk costs resulting from implementing a vastly different user interface. But CNET doesn't think Microsoft is actually giving users what they want. Offering a start button that just leads you back to the start screen seems like a half-hearted effort at best. If the report's true, I think Microsoft needs to listen a bit more closely to its users' feedback. Whether or not these changes are just a way to placate old users while maintaining the new Windows interface, one thing is clear. Starting over sure is difficult. For Newsy, I'm Megan Murphy, Multiple Sources, A Broader View.